Yeah, like, I, I saw something about that, like, AOC, like, was running away from, like, some protesters at a theater or something like that, and was, like, being harassed or something, and, and no, I... No, I didn't say. I, 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 I just saw, like, a little, um, uh, not exactly a headline, but, like, a little title, like, uh, alluding to that as a, a story, and I'm, I'm like, what the, what the hell happened? <laughs> Okay, hold on. I found, I found, let's see. Um, oh, yeah, here we go. Sky News, of course. Huh. Oh, wait, I've got oh, it on man. Two, I've got it on 2X, hold on. Call it a genocide. Yeah, everyone's trying to drop the G word. You used to call it a genocide. Oh, I, I, I need you to understand. It's not okay that there's a genocide happening. You're not actively against it. You're lying. I'm lying. You're not. Yeah. Yeah. What the hell? Yeah. What the hell are you doing, dude? God, how pathetic! Not like, to play, not to play like, not to play like coach or whatever, but there's better ways to handle that from AOC's side. Like you're yeah. just not gonna, you, you're, you're probably, you're, obviously the best choice is to just kind of go on with your life and ignore them, but yeah. because no matter what you do, it can get used against you, and you know it could be dangerous. But um, the other thing is if you're going to like kind of snap at somebody and like deliver some sort of punctuating point, yeah. no matter what you say, it's not going to be enough. They're going to come up with something respond. It's too important to them for them to be there in your face. Right. What you could maybe what you could, I mean, if you wanted to be bold, you could just be like, you could stop and actually just be like, Hey, come on, let's get out of people's way and we'll talk for, I'll give you a few minutes of my time and then kind of, you know, do a, a couple of minutes of conversation and then right. if it's like okay, that's all I got. That's all I got for you today. And treat them like a treat it like a dignified yeah, press greeting. I definitely feel. I, don't know. I I definitely feel like there's definitely a lot more behind this that you know kind of yeah. prob will probably explain AOC's behavior here real quick. Hey Dory, ha thanks for joining. Uh, really appreciate that. But yeah, no, like it, if anything, like I. Uh, She's probably being harassed. This is probably no, a lead up a of like group, ninety this is a minutes group of people. Yeah, like yeah, this is like probably... ninety minutes of of people following her or something like yeah, that. Yeah, or like I mean, like obviously this is a lot more. This is probably actually pretty coordinated. Like people knew that she was going to be here and got together and just decided to start harassing her. When like, sure, she's not calling a a, a like I. There's not exactly many like in her most recent public appearances she she refuses to call it a genocide and 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 that's fine but to say that like she doesn't like support a a, a ceasefire which is like the bare like the bare minimum that should be um uh what's being talked about more publicly like that like and not to mention like she she even has even said that um the ICJ strongly suggested that what Israel might be doing could be genocide like that that's the reality that's actually true like it, like she's just she's just providing like facts like like you can you can insert like your own personal interpretation of what's going on like like oh yeah this is clearly a genocide Israel's guilty and blah 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 but it's important to uh, relay to the world, to the public, via the media, if you have that platform, if you're given that platform, what the uh, what has actually been ruled on, what has actually been determined uh, by the, the, the cases being brought to the ICJ to determine whether or not Israel is committing genocide. And, and it, that, that's, that's what she's done. Like, so, like, just harassing her over this is like extremely pointless there are far 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 worse people with far worse perspectives that that are in congress that you can be going after than the aoc yeah. i'm 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 yeah. sick of the harass like like clearly like like she's not perfect 
But, like, it, I even, like, I, I've covered this before on my channel to where, like, people, like, on the left in particular are so uncharitable when it comes to AOC when she's easily one of the best and most progressive Congress people that we have in in Washington. Like, like it doesn't even come close. And so, and this kind of thing is just so old. It's like, you're just wasting your time. Say it. Over 30,000 people have got or dead AOC. You can't just say it for once. Just oh my god. Word. That's it. That's all we want you to say. Just shut up. Yeah, we, 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 can, we can go ahead and move on to something else. <laughs> yeah, okay. Fair yeah. enough. Ridiculous. Um, I thought, yeah, I thought there was more to the video, but I guess that was it. Yeah. Um. This pro yeah. This. I mean, there's pro like 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 I said, there's probably something that led up to that, and this was probably like a coordinated, um, confrontation confrontation by multiple people, but but yeah. So yeah I feel bad. I I, I feel bad for uh, AOC. I feel like she was just a yeah. little bit. She's just a little bit Frustrated. in over her head. Yeah. I think yeah, she's a, that too. I think she's just she just bit off a little bit more than she could chew. I mean I mean yeah. you know the story, right? Like they of course. she got recruited. Like I know I know yeah. other people who got recruited by the DNC. Yeah. yeah, but it was also the Democratic Party in general. They recruit like camera friendly people. Mm -hmm. Um they've done it in other metro metropolitan areas. Yeah. And um <laughs> so I don't, you know, she didn't expect to win. She won, and she got mm -hmm. in there on this whole like progressive message. And yeah, 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 yeah. But now she's part of the big boy group, and mm -hmm. she's hanging out with the Pelosi's, and so now she's gonna maybe do a little bit more of what of course. Nancy tells her to do, just yeah. to go along to you go along to get along, that kind of thing. Right. And before before you know it, there's not that much shit she can talk about Israel. When there comes time to hit them with the genocide bomb, yeah, I, I, she doesn't want to do it. I, I she won't. Do it. I, I won't disagree that in recent years, like a lot of her rhetoric has been a lot more tame and, and whatnot. Seems a whole lot more coordinated. Like she'll lay out the reality of um, this and that uh, when it's when, when given the opportunity, uh, but she won't go off on you know, tangents about her, her beliefs or whatever, like she did when she was first um, uh, rising to prominence. I don't think she's stupid at all. I think she knows, She, I think she's very, very well educated and it is uh, very succinct when, when uh, uh, um, uh, ma making the points that she has to make and whatnot, uh, c confronting um, uh, wh whoever it is uh, on... Uh, uh, her committees, um, like like some some clips of her going after what, whether it be like greedy CD, CEOs or bankers or or, or what have you, um, are excellent. They, they, they determine her um, obvious intelligence. But I, I can imagine like w how young she is because she's probably like I think like 34, 35 or something like that, uh, and, and and just all this pressure and just the um, just being jaded by the yeah. uh, inefficiency of Washington in general, it's got to be taking a toll on her. I, I, I wouldn't, I wouldn't fault her for like lashing out like that, you know? Yeah, no, I definitely don't uh, blame her for having those kind of, she wanted to respond and thought she could get through to those people in those moments. You can't, and, you can't, you know, you You're... just can't, you just got to stay stoic. You just got to go with stoicism, man. Stoics are yeah. onto a lot, man. Just don't care. If you don't care about things that you know can hurt you, then you know all the, it's like those. I'm always je uh, jealous of introverted types who like don't right. need as much attention as I do to be happy. Yeah, and, you know. <laughs> yeah, she yeah she just wants to be left alone. She was clearly like just she was pissed. You can you can tell just how upset so she the, was. Yeah. But here we go. So I know. So you know more about AOC. You like AOC more than I do. I think a little bit at least. And um, in terms she's of just pretty, like she's pretty cool, I guess. <laughs> I, I like I look I I like her a lot. I just think she's fallen victim to the power of the status quo. Sure, the status quo is just so powerful. Yeah, yeah. I mean, and, like if you uh, because like sh like it was mainstreamed at first. Like she's one of the members of. The squad, or, or yeah, the squad. and whatnot, oh, but <laughs> but like in you know in, in recent years in particular, she has not been as um, 
vocal and involved and uh, I guess bold as other members of the squad. Like Rashida Tlaib is like one one of the most powerful progressive voices consistently, yeah. um, as well as Ilhan Omar. Um, I think those two are easily my my favorite Congress people um, in like period. Uh, so like. I don't know. It's it's very it's very interesting. Like, um, I would love to like at least like pick her brain one day and just like tell me with honesty like how um, the uh, how her term how her time in Washington has uh, affected you, son of a. <laughs> You're good. How her time in Washington has uh, affected her overall. Um, you know. Just perception Mental of, of health. that, yeah. <laughs> like, in particular, that, yeah. I mean, you know, uh, I, I'm sure one day we'll get like a book or something. <laughs> I love AOC. I think she's got all the tools to be a superstar politician. It's obvious that the party has not, at least yet, decided to groom her yeah. for the escalator. Right. And the Obama escalator, you know, <laughs> <laughs> but it, it it just it just they've decided that she's just not ready for whatever reason. Yeah. And maybe she will be someday. Maybe she's just but you bring up a good point that she has options. She could quit politics and go write a book and go be on media for the rest of her life. She could have her own show. She could be like Jen Psaki yeah. on steroids. Um, yeah, she and have the, her own show on MSNBC and get paid, you know, ten million dollars a year, and right. be, live a very comfortable life if she wanted to do that. Yeah, but I mean, she has to ride out this Trump era stuff for a while. She has to stay in office for a little bit longer. Of course. But the thing that I worry, the thing that I worry about with AOC is the paradigm, because I want to see strong female politicians. But who are the paradigms? Mm -hmm. Who are the paradigmatic female political leaders on the left? that other lefty asp aspiring um, female political leaders can, you know, yeah. uh, look up to and it, learn from. It, 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 Hillary Clinton? You know, Liz Warren? <laughs> um, Amy uh, Klobuchar? No. Uh, Kamala Harris? <laughs> no. I mean, where do we go here? I'm, am I hitting anybody? You know, God, I, Elizabeth I, Dole? I, <laughs> I mean... Elizabeth Warren does have her, um, I guess, perks. But, yeah, I mean, you do raise a good point. I mean, when, when it comes down to it, like, like in recent years, AOC hasn't doesn't seem to be as hungry as she was when she started off. Like, there was even talk about, like, in, in the, uh, before the midterms of 2022... Um, that there's a possibility, like she could even potentially go for Chuck Schumer's seat in the Senate. Like, granted, yeah. like, like in my opinion, like, like it's a bit too soon for that. I think she needs. I think to... she should have done it. She should have Obama'd it.